Top of the morning to you. Uh, that's a beautiful day out. Another hot day out. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut that thing off, but I'll probably have to wait until it, uh, until the sun frigs off. But, yeah, so in the meantime, I got a little, got a little bit of stuff to clean up. My brother should be here today sometime, so hopefully he gets my message, just send him a text. Uh, so hopefully he brings me the body lift pucks, because as soon as I get those I can do a little bit more. Okay, so I've just cut one of these in half, um, and this is what it looks like inside. No wonder it uh, didn't dampen anything. Like, how, how is that supposed to dampen anything? So what I'm planning to do is, um, I don't know. I guess I could have that side be the input side, have it fill the chamber and then have to go through this out. So what I could do is probably even cut it here, hammer it down and then weld the end shut and then like that might be good enough for the holes. I don't know. And then uh, I'll fit it back inside and weld it back together and then Bob's your uncle and I gotta do it again. All right, well, I just got the end welded shut, so I think I'll tap that down a bit more just to give it a little bit more, uh... Well, you know what? I don't think it really matters. So now... I'm gonna put this thing back together. Something like that. Might have to use some clamps or something, because... I don't know, we'll see how she goes. Ah, <laughs> And she's done. Looking right. Looks Frankenstein, but that'll work. Sweet. Cool. So now I'm just going to do that guy. And this one's done. So I'm definitely going to have to have the exhaust coming in this side and then through this tube and out because this thing presses in. To this side too and if there's too much pressure coming this way it'll actually pop it off and then it's useless so all right two glass packs finished friggin rights that's awesome <laughs> yeah, so now that's done I got one more thing ticked off my list yeah, so there's my list close glass packs oh well, no you're done yeah, it's still got a lot to do. But most of this stuff, I'm just going to wait until, uh, until I've got, uh, well, the priority is to get the truck running. So, after it's running, then if I have any more time, then I can add things like the air tank and, uh, other stuff like that. But priority is to get it running so I can get moved out to Alberta. Yeah, uh, I'm just waiting for Terry to get here. He should be here soon, hopefully. Well, I uh, found my old Ford Ranger leaf springs. Nice. So I just got to de-arch them a little bit so that they're like this one. I already did this one. Um, All I do is I draw, I find the center hole, draw a line on it, and then every three inches I make a little mark, and I'll use my... Uh, press over there to press it down and uh, kind of flatten the spring down a bit so that's about what I'm going for. Flex is better than just straight up lift. Beg my part but that's the way she goes. Alright so I got this one marked out every three inches and I'll show you guys what I do. Uh, one thing you never ever flatten it or arch it in this area because that's where the spring perch goes and if you do that you'll mess it up so I left that part untouched when I pressed uh, when I massively arched these things so yeah that is pretty freaking close the only difference is right up in there 
but that's not a big deal. So now I gotta do the rest of them. Yay! I'm obviously not gonna use this overload because that's just ridiculously huge. Way too thick. Um, so I wonder if I could use it as an anti wrap spring. Like, uh, anti wrap springs, when when you torque, the tires go down and the diff, the diff pinion and stuff goes up, so I'm not quite sure which side this would go on to prevent it from going up. Yeah, the leaf springs would twist up, so I'd have to, I'd have to cut this spring like there and then put this pass, or this part on the front so that uh, when the leaf springs try to twist up, that spring will prevent it. Well, I don't even know if I'm going to be using these springs. They're really, really hard. Like, I'm 150 pounds, and I can barely compress this spring. It's just, the spring rate is ridiculous. So what I did is I found a couple of my Toyota leaf springs, and I put them on the Ford main leaf spring. Watch this. That's nice. That's a good spring rate. Need a little bit more though, so I'm going to run up to the uh, to the parts trucks and grab some of those leaf springs. <laughs> it looks like a raffle copter. Uh, I guess I forgot that his leaf springs were in pretty bad shape. They're all uh, pretty rotten right in the center area, so use them and they'll friggin' break and then I'm screwed. So, pass. Alright, so I might go with this leaf pack. I'm going to have to trim down that second leaf, lob those uh, ends off it because that's no good. But uh, that might do it. Oh, and I'm going to cut this one right here too because I don't need that back half. It's just an anti-wrap spring. And Terry and Camille are also on their way. Um, so that'll be cool to see them again. I haven't seen them in a couple days. we got to swap out Terry's drive shaft for this one because this one is all straight and balanced. It's stock. The one that he's got on it is one that I uh, modified. So I think what we're going to do is press this U-joint uh, out because it's pretty worn out anyways. Like, oh yeah, look at it. I'm going to step on that. Yeah. <laughs> it's wrecked. So I guess I'm going to have to press out the entire U-joint and then uh, when he gets here we'll use his U-joint uh, and uh, little flange antler thing to... As soon as you hear it go, that's when it's good. There, that's good. It's always when it pukes out anywhere else, it's good. Oh, that got much more stiff. Much more. Good. A little loose. That's got a bit better. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're taking off now. It's probably the last time I'll see them until I move out there. Alright, well I got both leaf packs built. Once I, uh, Put the forerunner on it, they'll flatten out a bit, so I'm not worried about all the spaces in between. Uh, yeah. So, that's ready to go now. I don't think I even have to move anything either, which is awesome. So, 
I guess they need some primer and some rock guard and then I can have that in the frame. Well today's been a pretty good day so far. I got the glass packs finished. I got leaf springs for the rear which is awesome. Um, yeah I just threaded a wall actually. I used that big friggin drill to drill out these little tabs. I couldn't fit that bolt through it so I had to drill them out. But yeah, so now my next project is Project Clutch Master Cylinder. Uh, basically, this whole assembly here, that little assembly that holds the brake pedal and the clutch pedal and stuff, this one's obviously an automatic, so it doesn't have any of that uh, bracketry for the clutch pedal. But uh, they do mark out the holes, that one, that one, and that one. So I'm going to have to drill those out and test fit the clutch master cylinder um, but in the meantime oh another thing that's awesome all these between what is it well at least 85 to even the newer or the the first gen Tacomas use the identical brake uh, pedal bracketry things they're all identical which is awesome. So I can just take the one out of this Forerunner, take the one out of Beastie, swap it into here, and Bob's your uncle. Friggin' rights. Alright, so the first thing I did was uh, I hammered a center punch through each one of those right in the dead center. So now I can drill it out. Well, it sucks, but this master's dead. It's all seized inside. Yeah, see that uh, white, there's a couple white lines there. Yeah, those are all scores. Scores down the inside, heavy gouges. Yeah, that piston is seized, it's not going anywhere. That's just from being out in the weather. So, oh well. Like, I don't know how long this truck sat, or this uh, chassis sat before I got it, so. I have no idea. But, anyways, uh, well, I guess. Got metal power for you. Now I'm gonna just drill out the stuff now. Cool, that'll work out pretty good. I just gotta make that middle hole a little bit bigger and then Bob's your uncle. You're funny. Hi buddy. Here, pull over, pull over. Watch this. <laughs> I just tap him there. Not even pushing that hard. Yeah, so I've had a long day. I got a lot done. I'm dirty as frig. Like, my hands are dirty and then my arms are even dirtier. I'm just filthy. <laughs> Check it out. So, yeah, I am in need of a shower. I'm gonna get killed on this thing. They're painting all these deck railings and stuff. So, like that. Driver yourself into the house. Anyways, wrong light switch. Yeah, so I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Take care.